Baby is my favorite favorite of September. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my September favorites for you guys. I'm going to start off with what is on my face and what I've been obsessed with and in love with this entire month of September, which is the Stila Stay All Day. This is the Stay All Day foundation. I wear it in the shade number one bare. This is a little bit still yellow for me, but it works. I make it work with, you know, highlighting and contouring and all that stuff. It does have a concealer on the top. I don't really ever use this. I sometimes use it to clean up my brows. I find that the concealer is quite dark in comparison to the actual foundation shade. But if you have dry skin, like I have dry skin, try this foundation out. It makes my skin look like skin and when I wear it throughout the day, it doesn't look cakey or dry or like dry patches. It makes me look like I'm in a magazine and that I'm airbrushed and I'm beautiful. I've been loving this foundation. A lip favorite of mine, which I'm actually surprised that this isn't on my lips right now. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Vintage. These are hard to get your hands on at the moment, but they will be at the Queen Street store when we open the end of October. I just, this color is everything to me. I love it. There is, I don't think there's been a day in September when I haven't had it on my lips. I think it's just that perfect fall shade. I love it. I, I want it on my lips right now, but I have a different lip color on. I have two blush favorites, which is so weird because I never really have blush favorites. I feel like I feel like blush is kind of a thing that I skip over, but I love blushes. I have two here. I have one a drugstore one. This is Annabelle. I think it's just in the shade number 18. I have this on. No, I don't have this one on right now. I had this one on yesterday. Oh, this blush is perfect. It's kind of like that everyday kind of color. It's like a satin matte finish. It has a lot of pigment to it. I think it is a great option at the drugstore. And then I also have a NARS one here. And this is in the shade Outlaw. I bought this when I was in Vegas like two years ago. And I rarely ever pick this blush up. But for fall, I love it. It does have a little bit of a sparkle to it. It's kind of like orgasm, but a little bit darker. Um, it's not. It's swatching quite pink on my hand right now but I it is a quite dark blush when it is on this is the one I have on today I could probably handle a little bit more it kind of looks like my eyeshadow too it kind of looks like everything very monochromatic today I have been obsessed with a specific eye look and unfortunately I don't have it on my eyes today I tried to film this video already once and I had it on that video but I'm going to mention it again whenever I have a halo eye people go people freak out over this eye look too they freak out okay so what i do is i take the nyx eyeshadow base in white this is literally the jumbo eye pencil and milk depotted that's literally what that is i take that tiny little bit i'll put that on top of whatever base i put on first i usually just swipe over a neutral shade all over in the crease all over the lid pop this sucker on just in the center and then i'll go over top with the nyx ultra pearl mania in white pearl this makes your eyes look beautiful big oh when I have this eye makeup on, people freak out and ask me every single time what is on my eyes. And that's my secret. I've been obsessed with this palette and specifically because it smells so good. This is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I've had this for a couple months now. I did two looks. I did a darker look and then like a lighter, like kind of everyday look. I'll link those down below if you're interested in checking those out. This black here is so deadly. It's so pigmented. I love all these colors. They are perfect for fall and that's why I've been gravitating towards it. Um, this nougat color, this is a shade that I would put all over my lid and then go in with the white pearl and the white base. That's kind of the eye look that I create. Love this palette and if you have the chance, go into Sephora and just smell it. It smells so good and having this like in your room doing your makeup in the morning, it just makes my day so perfect starting off. I got my hands on a new Clarisonic and I'm so excited about this. Okay, this is the Clarisonic Smart Profile. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Clarisonic Twitter chat and congratulations to the winner. I got my hands on the Clarisonic Smart Profile and for the longest time I thought that I could just, I didn't actually, but I thought I could just buy a body brush and stick it on my Aria because, or the Mia 3 because that's the one I had before, but apparently you can't. So this one came with a whole bunch of fun stuff. First of all, the stand, which I love. I love how this just sits in my bathroom or my bathtub in here. Just look at this box. This is like so much stuff. It comes with a body brush. It also comes with a cleanser, which is also in my bathtub right now. And then another cleanser and then a charger and then all this stuff. This box is huge. I'm really excited about this specifically because I get to use it on my body and I have never done that before and I always wanted to and this thing gets your face six times cleaner than 
just using a cleanser alone so i can only imagine like the cleanliness my body is going to, or the like cleanliness of my body after i use the clarisonic with the body brush on it i also wanted to mention a hairspray because i've been in love with this i actually i meant to grab my shampoo and conditioner out of the tub but i forgot but i have my hairspray here my shampoo and conditioner is by redkin as well but this is the control addict 28 hairspray extra hold extra high hold hairspray uh i love this i have it on my hair right now it's still like tangible and i can still move my hair but it's like stuck there in this position and the only other hairspray that I've ever found that with is the Elmet hairspray by L'Oreal and I don't particularly like the scent of that. This stuff almost has like a vanilla scent to it. I love the black chic little tube bottle that it's in. If you have the chance, try this one. You will fall in love with it and never buy another hairspray. I still love my Got To Be hairspray. That's like my cheap hairspray. But when I have this hairspray, I prefer this hairspray. I have a couple fun items now. The first thing I wanted to mention is poopery because I've been obsessed with poopery. If you guys don't know what poopery is, this is something that you spray into the toilet bowl before you do your little business and there is no smell. No smell at all. It is actual magic i love it this one smells like lemon this is like the original one i've been using poopery since i was like like 18 or 19 and i didn't use it for a couple years there but now that i'm using it again oh, i love it it's so cute it's just like a conversation piece just like this on the back of your toilet i think it's hilarious something else i've been obsessed with is the grove square single cup cappuccino mix this is the pumpkin spice flavor cappuccino i didn't know this before because i guess living in manitoba i was living under a rock but here in toronto there are like stores for k-cups it's just like k-cups everywhere and you can buy them individually so you just get a little basket and just pick out different ones and i had so much fun picking out different kinds and i got my hands on the pumpkin spice flavor and this is amazing i don't care if this makes me the most basic white girl in the whole world i love pumpkin spice flavored anything um so you know whatever anyway moral of the story is this thing was like 50 cents and 50 cents beats at like five dollars at starbucks any day love this I also wanted to mention my camera. This is a Sony A6000. This is the camera I have been using for my Instagram photos. I believe a lot of Instagrammers have this specific camera because it makes you look flawless without losing the integrity of the makeup. And I think that's a big thing right now on Instagram is are like bleh. This makes me look flawless and it makes my face look blurred, but the makeup is just enhancing the makeup. And I would rather take a great quality photo with this than like a horrible iPhone photo where you can't see the detail, it's all blurry. Ugh, I'm just gonna take a photo right now because this thing makes you look beautiful. And it's compact enough that you can bring it with you, like it's not too bulky. Oh my God, like you just, you look flawless. Here, hold on. Can you see that like you look like a dream like oh it's blurry you can't see that but trust me when i say any photo you take with this is stunning so that was the sony a6000 it's it's a pretty penny but i think it's worth it because you look so beautiful i also have a fashion favorite i wanted to mention nyx canada was nice enough to gift me this this is a matte and nat bag and this is a canadian company matte and nat this is K. It says right here, this lining is made with 100% recycled plastic bottles. I didn't even know that was possible, but this bag is completely vegan. It's 100% vegan. Um, I love the structure of it. I love the shape of it. It is beautiful. It has so much space inside. It's like some, there's a little glimpse into my purse. Got some, what is this, cream liquid suede in here and some lip balm and some headphones and gum. What I love about this purse is in the back, it has a little slit here. So I can just take my phone and slide it right in there. And I really like that because I don't have to open my purse in public all the time. Not that I'm that like sort of paranoid person, but it's nice just to have a little slot that you can just put it in there instead of like putting it like in my boob area. Matt and Matt also has a beautiful, beautiful backpack and I want to get my hands on it so bad. My friend Ryan has it and I really want it. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So if you're looking for a vegan recycled plastic bottle purse, check Matt and Matt out. Those are all my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Um, yeah, I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Oh. Oh.